In this video, we'll be talking about the JAK-STAT pathway inhibitor, tofacitinib, which is frequently used for treatment of several rheumatic disease like rheumatoid arthritis, then psoriasis or ulcerative colitis. So this particular molecule inhibits the JAK-STAT pathway. We would learn why it is important. It's an oral medication which is very efficient. So let's talk about this in a bit more details. From a technical and structural point of view, this particular molecule blocks the genus kinase or JAK. JAK has several domains like the kinase domain which regulates phosphorylation, then pseudokinase domain SH2 and farm domain. So in order for JAK to phosphorylate any target protein, it needs ATP. Without ATP, any kinase protein cannot do the phosphorylation job. So in this context, tofacitinib actually competitively inhibits this particular uh, protein. So it, it competes with ATP to bind to the JAK kinase and thereby inhibiting its own activity. Now let's put this idea into the context of a uh, rheumatic disease or autoimmune disease. Let's say we are talking about rheumatoid arthritis. In this case, the joints of the bones are severely affected. So here is the synovial membrane, here is a fibrous capsule and here is a synovial fluid. So there are autoantibodies which kind of damage specific cells known as synoviocytes. So there are uh, complement mediated damage of these cells. So these IgM Anti autoantibodies lead to complement fixation and lysis of these synoviocytes. Alongside this mechanism, there are several cell types involved in these disease progression, such as macrophages, dendritic cells, and also Th1 subtype cells, which triggers the inflammatory response in the joints. And that's why the joints are inflamed in these kind of autoimmune disorders. So one of the key focus in these disease is the uh, pro-inflammatory cytokine shown here. What if this pro-inflammatory cytokine production can be paused or seized? Then there would be a, a better treatment for this particular disease. Exactly tofacitinib does that function. So all these pro-inflammatory cytokines are produced by the JAK-STAT pathway. So the JAK-STAT pathway starts with the particular a cytokine binding or ligand binding to the cytokine receptor which lead to the dimerization of the receptor. Then the Janus kinase binds to the receptor and phosphorylates a portion of these receptor. Eventually it attracts the STATs or signal transduction and transmission proteins. So these STATs bind to the receptor and Jack can phosphorylate STATs as well. Once phosphorylated, STAT proteins are activated. They dimerize with each other and now they are free to move to the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, they actually take part in transcription because they bind to cytokine response element and it triggers specific uh, gene activation. <coughs> Many of these genes are actually the cytokine genes, especially the pro-inflammatory ones. So obviously we can understand if we have a, a particular drug that can potentially block the cytokine production would be really beneficial. So tofacitinib blocks the jack and thereby prevents all the downstream signaling via this jack stat signaling arm and thereby tofacitinib rescues uh, the day with preventing the inflammatory cytokine production. So already we have discussed that tofacitinib acts as a competitive inhibitor for a competitive inhibitor for the Janus kinase. So it competes with ATP and thereby preventing ATP to bind to the kinase domain of the Jak protein. And thereby the Jak proteins are non-functional, cannot transduce the signal downstream. But when we talk about tofacitinib, there are certain side effects that one need to understand. With tofacitinib, there could be increased risk of serious bacterial viral infections. Also, there could be gastrointestinal and liver complications. There could be changes in the blood cell count. And also, there could be dyslipidemia, which can be associated with tofacitinib.
So both sides has to be considered before administering this particular drug. So that is why consulting a physician is really important in this context. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Get notes and flashcards in our Facebook and Instagram page. Links are provided in the description. You can support our channel using Super Thanks. You can contribute using Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.